Okay, next up, I think we have a reconnected Elizabeth Howell with Space.com. How do you hear us, Elizabeth? I hear you fine. You hear me? Got you. Go ahead. Fantastic. Thanks, everybody, for all your help today. Um, this question is first directed to Jessica, but I'd also like to hear from everybody. Can you talk about how the ISS is a springboard for moon research, particularly regarding the Artemis program? Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for the question. It is a really important part of um, what we are doing up here and really exciting part of what we are um, able to do up here using the International Space Station as a test bed um, for future exploration. So um, that looks like many different things. Um, Samantha has, has mentioned a couple of them, looking at um, technologies as it relates to life support and how we can um, uh, progress those technologies in order to support um, future exploration. We have um, experiments um, like um, X-Roots, which is um, investigating means of growing plants and growing crops on a larger scale um, without soil, so without the overhead in terms of um, volume, mass, um, and containment that comes with soil um, that will have um, really important applications and implications for, for future exploration. Um, we also are looking into some of the um, effects of human spaceflight on the human body and the human brain. Um, so looking into um, cognitive effects as well as physiological ones. Um, and we are looking into um, ways to protect against some of the hazards that are associated um, with some of this exploration. For example, um, of course, radiation is one of the, the biggest um, factors that needs to be mitigated as we move forward. Um, and so we're looking into different um, means of protecting against radiation. Um, AstroRad is a, um, a, an experiment, a, a test that we are um, conducting up here where um, there's a, a vest um, that we can wear as um, crew members on board um, that would facilitate us to be able to continue operating continue operating on station, continue with our science um, or whatever maintenance um, is, is, is being completed um, during a, a solar, solar radiation event. Um, so um, we're looking at how effective that, that vest is. And then we're also going to be sending that vest up on Artemis 1. So coming up here um, shortly, um, that vest will be going up on, on the mannequin on Artemis 1. And we'll be able to um, compare that data with, with the experience of actually wearing it here on ISS. So so many examples of all of the ways that the ISS um, is really enabling us to um, uh, further technologies and understanding that will um, enable us to go further into the solar system.